Hey there, Dawn Monroe here. I had a question today in Microsoft Outlook about importing contacts from a list that you already have in a spreadsheet. So here I've got a small list opened up in Excel. I wanted to show you. It really doesn't matter what the heading is on each column because once you get into the Outlook import uh, process, you can map your fields. So it, whether it's called first or first name or company or organization, that doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how I put this together when I get into the actual um, import process. So here goes. I'm going to File and I go to Open and Export. I go to import and export, and I'm going to import from another program or file. Comma separated values. That's the kind of file I actually have. And then I'm very carefully going to go out and pick it here. Move myself. I got just in the way. I do not want to import duplicate items. So if I already have... Suzy Q in here. I don't want to have a second copy of Suzy Q's information. So then I'm going to go on to next once I figure that out. This is going into my contacts. If you're like me and you have more than one email address, then be sure that you are in the contacts of your, your main email address. And I'm in my learn at my domain um, email and that's what I want. So next and then here is the part I'm talking about. Map the custom fields. So when you have like first name, last name, email, and company, it may be something called something different in here. And so what I'm going to do is take the heading names from my, my comma separated values sheet, grabbing first, and I'm going to drop first on first name. So I'm going to be putting the first names into that first name in Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to also do last name. Look, it already picked up company. That was an exact match. Let's figure out the email address, though, because it has actually several email addresses. Email 1, email 2. All right, so I'm going to grab this one and put it in that first email address. That's it. I have mapped my fields now. I'm ready to say, okay, it doesn't matter what you call yours and what Microsoft calls theirs. Just make sure that you map them together so that will work. And you hit finish and it will go ahead and import these new contacts into your Microsoft Outlook. Hope you like that one. Thanks.